Hello and welcome to the Homes by Architects Tour orient Volunteer Orientation and Training Webinar. If you've not already done so, please pause this video and open the training and orientation packet document that was emailed to you along with this video link. Thank you for agreeing to be part of this year's event. We rely on over 70 volunteers each year to make this tour successful. The event is in its 10th year and draws upward of 2,100 guests annually, with an average of 620 people visiting each home. This year, we will showcase 17 new and remodeled homes designed by 12 different architecture firms. The goal of the event is to help the public better understand the value of architect-led design in our community. As a volunteer, you will be stationed at an outdoor check-in table near the entrance of your home. If the weather is poor, the architect at the home will move your table and supplies to a sheltered location indoors or in a garage. Your table will include a chair, a stack of tickets and tour programs, a supply of tote bags, and a few other items for your use. Here are the expectations for tour volunteers. We ask that you greet guests in a friendly manner, keep count of the number of people who come through your home, sell tickets to those who want to purchase them, ensure that visitors understand the rules of the tour and our shoe cover policy, count your cash at the beginning and end of each shift, and answer general questions about the tour. The check-in table at each home will have a red folder which serves as a resource for you. You want to find that folder when you first begin your shift. Each folder contains a copy of the training handout materials, a stack of ticket record sheets, a contact list for tour organizers, which you can utilize if you need help, have questions, or run low on supplies during your shift, and volunteer information, the shift details, name, and contact information for all of the other volunteers working at your home over the weekend. When guests arrive at your home, you can expect to encounter three different scenarios. Scenario one is the guest has already purchased a tour ticket. Scenario two is the guest shows you proof of purchase and just needs tickets in exchange. In this case, the guest has purchased tickets on our website within the last 48 hours after tickets were able to be mailed. So they'll show you their email confirmation and you'll give them the number of tickets indicated in that email. The third scenario is the guest needs a ticket. Indicate the number of ticket numbers you issued and the amount paid and the form of payment you accepted. Your red folder will contain a bundle of ticket record sheets, which you will use to track attendance at your home and to log any financial transactions you make with guests. So every person who comes through your home should include, should mean that you record something on your ticket record sheet. This sample page shows how to notate each of these three scenarios. I'll go into more detail about what to do in each of the three scenarios in a bit, but here I'll show you how to record each on the sheet. For scenario one, ticket in hand, simply mark an X for each guest for attendance tracking purposes. In scenario two, proof of purchase, the guest will show you a purchase confirmation email in exchange for the appropriate number of tickets. No money will change hands, but you'll mark which ticket numbers you gave each person. When you look at the tickets, you'll see that on the front of each is a unique four digit number, and that's the number that you're going to mark in column number one to the left. In scenario three, the guest needs a ticket. So you'll indicate the ticket numbers you issued, the amount paid, and the form of payment you accepted. You'll notice a student ticket option on your rec record sheet. 
Youth aged five and up, as well as college students, are eligible for a student ticket for $10 instead of the full price of $20. We don't require students to show an ID. It's more of an honor system. But for these types of ticket sales, circle the S in the ticket type column and note the $10 paid. Let's go over the first scenario in more detail next. For those who have already purchased a ticket, mark an X in the ticket record sheet for each ticket you're shown. Next, mark the appropriate box on their ticket, as indicated on the blue check mark on your screen. Then offer a tour program and hand out tote bags to anyone who'd like one. Tote bags are being given this year to any guest who would like one so they can keep their shoe covers in them and any other materials they pick up along the way. This is first comes first serve, so when you run out of bags, we won't resupply. In scenario two, guests may have purchased a ticket online in the past two days, as I mentioned before, after the time when paper tickets could be mailed. In this case, they've been instructed to show you their proof of purchase in exchange for tickets. So look at their email to determine the number of tickets needed. Mark the ticket record sheet with the ticket numbers you issue, along with the four-digit confirmation number from their email. Then offer a tour program and hand out tote bags. It's not necessary to keep the paper email confirmation that they supply you with. You may give it back to the individual or you can keep it, it's not necessary to either way. In the third scenario, the guest wants to purchase a ticket. We accept cash and checks made payable to AIA Minnesota, but if the individual has no other form of payment with them, we will accept all credit cards, Visa, MasterCard, Discover, American Express. In that case, you have a supply of blank credit card slips in your red folder. Please ask the guest to complete that credit card slip and keep it in the black zippered cash bag when it's completed. You can assure the guest that AIA Minnesota will shred all credit card information after the charge is processed. Mark the ticket record sheet with the ticket numbers you issued and record the amount paid and the payment method. Finally, offer a tour program and hand out tote bags. A guest may only want to tour one home and they can do that for $10. In this case, do not issue a ticket, but do accept their payment and note it on the record sheet. You may also have a VIP list in your red folder. If this is the case, when someone visits the home from this list, and they'll most likely identify that they're on that list. Simply make a check mark next to the name to show they visited, but do not issue a ticket unless specifically indicated on the VIP list. You'll have a black cash bag with $200 of starting cash inside for you to make change with. You'll use this bag to store any cash, checks, or credit card slips you accept during your shift. For those in the morning shifts, please count your cash at the start of your shift, note the amount on the cash accounting sheet, and ask the architect or firm employee to sign the sheet as well. At midday, when shifts change, please count the cash again and write down the total on the cash accounting sheet. At the end of the day, Count the cash one more time and have the architect sign the sheet after indicating the total. You should give the cash bag to the architect for safekeeping overnight. Your training packet also includes a full list of the tour rules. Please look this over before starting your shift to familiarize yourself with them. Our shoe cover policy is that guests should remove their shoes and wear shoe covers that we provide or clean unused socks. We encourage guests to take shoe covers with them from home to home. This really cuts down on waste. 
So please mention that option to them after they check in with you. Finally, here's some general tips to remember as you prepare for your shifts. We ask that you find a substitute if you cannot fulfill your volunteer shift. Please contact me if you have questions about this. Dress comfortably and in layers. There's no specific dress code, but please be sure you're comfortable and warm. Bring food and beverages if you like. And check in with the architect when you first arrive to get a tour and to find out where the restrooms are. We've asked the homeowners to allow architecture firm staff and volunteers to utilize the restroom in the home, but they're not for public use. If you're not attending an in-person orientation session and your volunteer shift is not on Saturday morning, I will mail your name tag to you so you receive it before Saturday morning. Your name tag will give you access to all the tour homes during the weekends. Please also allow anyone visiting your home to go through free of charge if they're wearing a Homes by Architects Tour volunteer name tag. Thanks for listening to this training webinar. If you have any questions, please contact me. And thanks again for donating your time to make this event a success.